Okay, this is take two of a lunar eclipse on the evening of January 20th, 2019, which is gradually slipping out of my field of view already. Orangish looking blood moon, I think it's called a blood wolf moon, maybe something like that here in this one. Full moon, Earth's shadow is, uh, the Earth's umbra shadow is pretty much covering the bulk of the moon. Maybe on the left side it's a little off there. Um, she's been in total eclipse now for about, uh, 45, well, 30 to 45 minutes. I think it lasts about an hour overall, and then you start to get the uh, penumbra. Wait a minute. Is the umbra or the penumbra? God, I can't remember. You get the lighter part of the shadow coming over it. I forgot what those are called, the umbra and the penumbra. We're looking at it here through a Takahashi Sky 90 telescope uh, with a flattened reducer on the back end, giving us a focal length of 400 millimeters f4.5, fairly fast. The camera's a Panasonic GH5S running at 1 30th of a second shutter, ISO is 6400, and it pretty easily captures this somewhat dimmer so-called full moon. I'm going to keep shifting this thing into position because it's gradually drifting out. I have it mounted on an Altaz mount, no tracking capability. It's called a half-hitch FTQ Altaz mount. You see a star or two showing up in the field. Those are background stars. Uh, because she's uh, moderately dim, the camera's got enough dynamic range to pick up some of those stars, especially on the dark side of the moon anyway, or the dark shadow cast side of the moon. The seas are showing up. Those darkest regions are the, um, we call them the seas or mare. Some Apollo landings occurred there a long time ago, back in the 60s and early 70s. Don't know which ones. And then the slightly lighter re regions would be mountainous or rough regions. There's an occasional, probably, cloud passing through the field every now and then, although right now, yeah, there's still some clouds around here, but it's clearing up as per the forecast. So, um, it's a little windy too, but there you go. I think that's a cloud right now. Yeah, there is one coming through. It's almost like leaf shadows or something waving over the moon. But that's a um, total lunar eclipse at the moment. Local time is uh, 9.32. I stink an iPad key. It says it's 11.32 because it's still stuck on mid Midwest time because I guess I haven't fired up since I got back from a trip there a few weeks ago. Um, so a quarter of a million miles away, full moon with a nice big Earth shadow on it. It's orange colored because the light that does get to it is passing through the Earth's atmosphere at grazing angles thin ring of atmosphere and that refracts the sun's light to make it look kind of orangish like you would see at a sunset if you were on the earth but this is off the earth from the moon's perspective obviously and so the light from the sun looks orangish when it's in the uh, dark shadow region okay i think i'm going to call it quits here and maybe try another take well i really need to reposition whoa Whew. get this guy back in the center right there there it is so that's the moon, January 20th, 2019, total eclipse, blood moon, wolf moon, whatever they call it, with some clouds slipping through the field every now and then. Okay, we'll call that a wrap. Ooh, really dark now. All right, that's it. Oh, there you are. See ya. Bye.